In this video, we're going to show you how to use the search bar on TradingView. There's a number of ways you can use this, but let us show you the most basic. It says launch chart. So that's our default right now, launch chart. So if we were to type in AAPL, which is Apple, and then click that, it would instantly launch the chart for us. Here's our chart. It's where we can now customize the look and feel, begin to do our research, dive into price action. Now there are other ways that we can use this search bar. So we just showed you what launch chart means. Launch chart will get you to the chart instantly. It was as simple as typing in a ticker and then selecting it from the menu here. But there's more. There's also ticker overview, ideas, scripts, and people. So we're gonna show you each of these. Now if we select ticker overview, and then type in, in this case, why don't we try BTC USD? We select the first item. We want to see the Bitcoin US dollar here. Now it takes us to the symbol overview page where we can see a number of things, including the price, a few facts here, timeline. So if we want to learn more about the history of Bitcoin, we have ideas, technicals, and markets. Scroll down, you can learn a lot more about the symbol. For example, ideas will show you all of the ideas published by other traders and investors from around the world. Here are their profiles. If we'd like, we can follow them, message them, send them coins. This is the symbol page. And by the way, we can do this for a number of different symbols. So we'll go back to Apple. This says C ticker overview, we click. And now we're on the ticker overview page for Apple. So as you can see, it's just using this drop down to decide where you want to go. So watch if we take this back to launch chart, Apple, click. Now we'll instantly launch the Apple chart. Here we are, we are in the charting platform. We can begin our research. Let's go back though, once again, because there's more in this drop down menu we want to show you. So we've shown you launch chart. We've shown you, shown you ticker overview, but now here's where some things get really cool. We can also search ideas. So we're gonna select search ideas, and now what comes to mind? Why don't we look for ideas that have the keyword in it, breakout? We click breakout, and what we're doing now is searching all of the ideas on TradingView with the keyword breakout. So we can see what all of these other traders and investors are publishing using the term breakout. Look at all of these ideas, various authors here. We can scroll up, see their profiles, tons of authors that we can interact with, meet, and just sort of follow to see if their ideas are worth looking into. We can also click like, read comments. It's all there for us. And there's more. So we have search ideas selected. Why don't we do more? So we did breakout. We could also do something like, how about earnings? So if we're interested in the actual earnings of a company, or maybe there's some sort of charting analysis that includes some earnings research. Here's something about Coinbase and its IPO. Here's Wendy's. So there must be some earnings aspect to these posts. This post shows here, published by EPS Momentum looking into maybe how its earnings will perform and how the stock will drift. That's interesting. So that is another option. You can search ideas. So now we've shown you launch chart, ticker overview, ideas, and now this is really cool. This is scripts. So as you know, scripts are coded in our proprietary language called Pine, and you can create custom indicators and automated strategies using Pine well, if you select scripts, search scripts, you can now search for specific scripts. As an example, we can type in volume and we'll select volume here. And now what's happening is you can see scripts. We are doing a search for all scripts related to volume. So if we scroll down, here are all of the scripts related to volume. We can click like again, comment, uh, look at the author, if we were to click into this now, we can learn more about what this script is. So we scroll down and we can see exactly what this script is doing. It has a complete overview and detailed description of what this script does. And as we keep scrolling down, we can see there's also an add to favorites. 
So then of course we can add this script to our favorites and add it to our chart next time we're on the chart. This is called Delta Volume Real-Time Action. So what are some other scripts that we want to search for? Well, we showed you volume. How about something like VWAP? Volume Weighted Average Price, we click. And now what we can do here is find all of the scripts that are being coded by other traders and investors. And we can read more about these scripts. Super interesting. This one here, Global Market Signals has created his own VWAP indicator. Here's another one. And as you can see, as we scroll down, there are multiple scripts about VWAP. And that is something that you can really uh, take advantage of because if you're looking for a tool to research or a tool to use on the chart, select search scripts and then search the keyword that you're interested in. So another example might be fundamental analysis. We'll click fundamental analysis. So now we're searching all scripts for fundamental analysis. Scroll down. Pretty interesting. This is called value range, correlation with p-value. So you can start to see now that there are some scripts for fundamental investors. Intrinsic value calculation. That looks interesting. We can follow this coder, message them, or maybe just press like because it looks interesting. So this is how you can use the search box now to find indicators that are specific to what you're looking for. This one's called financial highlights, fundamentals, coded for people who are interested in financial highlights. You can add this to your chart. Any chart you want, you can create. It looks like this. And you, we found this by using the search feature. Another example, fair PE based on interest rates. So this is going to be a price to earnings ratio of the S&P 500 with interest rates. Super interesting. If you are a fundamental or big macro investor, uh, this is all available to you just by using search scripts. You could even, if you wanted to, search for macroeconomics. And remember, you could do that same thing for ideas. You could actually search macroeconomics and let's see what happens very interesting you start to get these big picture ideas so this one for example for example is about the US 10 year you start to see some more black swan terminology and that is another way you can do it and if you pay close attention you'll see that some have these longer titles and it implies that they have just a more robust, usually it means a larger set of ideas or scripts within them. They're sort of uh, created by the actual TradingView platform. So as an example, when we do type in volume, you'll see here volume weighted average price, VWAP. It is an indicator that the scripts and ideas are specifically sorted under. And it even has this description here so you can learn more about what this means. So we hope this video helps you get started. The key here is to have some fun and to dive right in. If you want to launch a chart really quickly, we showed you how. Just have a launch chart selected. Then type in the symbol and you will get right to your chart instantly. But if you want to dive in and find some uh, information or scripts or potential ideas, Select the item that you're interested in. For example, let's go to ideas and then just begin to dive in. For example, you could do swing. Let's actually do swing trading. Perfect. So now we could search for swing trading because we're looking for some swing trades. And as we dive in, don't forget, you can also sort by videos only. So some people do create videos about these topics. You could also search search by most recent. So if we click this, it'll make it the most recent. Or if we did fire, it will be the most popular. And as another example, we showed you breakouts. Well, why don't we do one more and look for some basic trend analysis. So we can click trend analysis. This one should be a little more popular because we're just looking for some uh, instances where the trend is being studied and looked into. And here's trend analysis. As you can see, this is really big. It has over 1,000 plus ideas, over 1,000 educational ideas, and over 1,000 scripts, trend analysis. And now we can dive in and search this for anything we're looking for. If we click most recent, 
It'll take some time because there are so many ideas in trend analysis. Here you are. One was just published. And as we scroll down, one minute ago, one minute ago, you can see how quickly these ideas are coming in for trend analysis. And if we sort it by videos, we will also see what videos people are creating. So here are some videos that include the term trend analysis. So that is how you can use the new search bar. We hope you have some fun with it. Please leave comments or suggestions below. It's as simple as just using this dropdown, selecting what, you're, what you want to find, and then typing in the keyword right here. So go have some fun. We hope that you enjoy this. And once again, if you have comments, suggestions or questions just leave them in the comments below and as one more final example once send off we've selected launch chart and let's just go to a chart of the euro usd and we will now open this chart instantly and here it is and we can begin to customize the chart to our needs thanks for watching